when mama told you certain things were too good to be true, mama was right. Don't take money from strangers. All right, we're going to review this scandal about a bunch of uh, right-wing pundits, I guess they are. I, I'm familiar with some of them. Are getting accused of being duped by a bunch of Russians <laughs> to make content, which I think is kind of funny. So, uh, yeah, the Department of Justice is all over this. And the I don't care about the politics of it. I just think it's funny. And as a show, we will definitely not take money from such countries as North Korea, Iran, Russia, China. I mean, we say China is asshole all the time. So, I mean, unless they're pretending to be a fake Canadian company, then we may, no. <laughs> it's just funny. It's like, how much money do you need? Do you wanna pay a little bit of attention to what you're doing here? I don't know. I don't know, but we'll take a look at some of the details. There's been some breaking news on it. It appears that Lauren Chen, who's kind of at the center of all this, just got axed by, by the blaze. This is from Semaphore. And uh, the scoop, American conservative media company has fired one of the YouTubers implicated in a Russia influence operation exposed by the U.S. Department of Justice. Lauren Chen was an independent contractor whose contract has been terminated. <laughs> terminated. And the big part is they co-founded this tenant media company, which is weird because I started to see it pop up on all these different channels. And I was like, what is that? And apparently they paid eye-popping sums to right-wing influencers to produce videos that echoed Russian propaganda and other right-wing talking points. Interesting. Uh, this guy's view seems pretty, pretty interesting. Uh, the Russian government wildly overpaid for online videos that figures like Tim Pool and Benny Johnson would have made anyway. But the new indictments get to the heart of one of the deep debates in American politics over Russian role in the rise of Donald Trump's right-wing populism. I mean, everybody in influences everybody. The, the, the key is don't take money from people you don't know where it's coming from. Just because someone offers you a check... It's just like the scam that was going on with uh, the with Chase Bank the other day. Just because someone says there's a glitch doesn't mean that you should be taking money and trying to get free money from them. It's the same concept. Don't take free money. You know, you're going to make a video that doesn't do very well, and you're like, well, how are they making money off of this? Again, the, from the rap, Blaze Fires YouTube contributor. Now, the other ones, I don't know. I guess, like... Some of them could get fired from the Daily Mail and things like that. I don't know how they're all intertwined. But from what I understand, it's Tim Pool, Dave Rubin, Benny Johnson were all being secretly funded by Russian state media. But Laura Chen was the kind of the linchpin because she knew the most about it. And she was secretly connected or seemingly connected to funneling the funds from Russian sources and was looking things up according to the... Uh, Department of Justice that kind of implicates that she knew more than she thought. She could be in some really, really big trouble. Really big trouble. And uh, let's see, who is this? This is from PBS News. I'm sure they know everything. And the only reason why they know who it is because they could tie it to the amount of subscribers that they had, which I thought was kind of funny. They're like, oh, one, you know, commentator one has 1 1.24 million subscribers. The other one has 2.45. So they're just assuming they know who these people are. Apparently, I didn't even know this. Uh, oh, tenant media president, Liam Donovan, is the husband of Lauren Chan, a Canadian influencer. How dare you? You Canadians, stay out of here. I don't know, there's, there's a lot going on. And I don't think anybody bothered to research. Like, one identified influencer's contract included a $400,000 monthly fee and a $100,000 signing bonus. For, for what? What were you giving them? It's interesting. 
So don't look a gift. What is that? Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. I mean, you kind of had to be a sucker for this. They they made up. You know, look, these guys, Pool and Johnson. And none of them did anything wrong necessarily. They're not really the ones who are under fire here because it's really the there was Russians who did it. They fa made fake government or they made fake businesses and they were they made a fake oligarch who was like, oh, "I'd love to sponsor your shows." And blah 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 blah. Those guys are in trouble. The uh, the Russians, but the commentators aren't. But is it gonna change people's opinion on whether or not they can be trusted just because they they wanted more money? Again, how much money is your soul worth? Interesting, right? Interesting. I mean, as far as scandals go, this is like pretty big. It's like a 10. I think it's 10 out of 10. They had six influencers who were providing content, which is Poole, Benny Johnson, Ruben, Lauren Southern, Taylor Hansen, and Matt Christensen. I don't know who some of those people are. But I've definitely, obviously, heard of Tim Pool. I've covered him on my show. Benny Johnson, I am aware of. Ruben. But it's like, you know, everybody wants that cashola. But I feel like, you know, everybody's influencing somebody somewhere. That's kind of the... Isn't that kind of the point? So they were going to make content that they were supposed to make anyway. In fact, one of them is that whole... I think it was Tucker Carlson when he was going through the Russian... Uh, grocery store saying how great the grocery store was i'm like what are you what are you talking about dude grocery store what but they wanted him to make videos about it and it's like well a they probably would have done that anyway and b they probably would have uh it, like how does that influence anything i guess it's a positive news story for russia like i uh, i don't know it's the same thing that look the on the other side of the the aisle you literally had somebody who worked for the chief of staff of Cuomo, who is the most influential governor in the United States during the pandemic time. And she was just got convicted of being a actual spy for China and was deliberately influencing Taiwanese propaganda, like anti-Taiwanese propaganda and, and just pushing Chinese, uh, bringing in more spies. Like it's everywhere. So you can't be surprised by it. But it is kind of hilarious, and it's just a life lesson that we all need to learn here, folks. There is no such thing as free lunch. I know I keep saying all these like uh, sayings, but I think it's important here. When somebody pays you, someone's like, yeah, I, I want to do a half million dollar deal with you. There better be some value in it for them. Otherwise, they're trying to influence you. <clears throat> so what do you guys think? Do you guys think that this is, this is crazy? Would you pay attention to these channels anymore? The details at the YouTube channel had 2.44 subscribers, referred to as commenter one, and 2.4 YouTube uh, subscribers. A person with 1.3 YouTube subscribers referred to as commenter two. Interesting. Do you feel like these people were bought and sold? Do you think they're just greedy? What do you think's going on here? I'd be curious. And some people are saying like it's the same. They're the same videos I would have done anyway, and they asked me to do them. But again, don't you have some sort of responsibility to take a look at where you're getting your money from? I mean, a little bit, a tiny bit. Well, I don't know. You got to think about what about that scam where people were doing those. Uh, was there a whole big scam with some advertiser that was like advertising space over like you could. It was a big YouTube advertiser and people were essentially, you know, it's just like a scam. I don't know. You got to get paid, though, right? I don't know. Let me get, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below because uh, are you ever going to watch these guys again? Do you think you would trust them? Do you think they'll still have YouTube careers? I think Lauren Chen has a big possibility of being in big, big, big trouble because I think they were more involved in this, and they just got canned. So let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm super curious. It's a 10 out of 10 scandal, that's for sure. Thank you so much for watching. I I guess I'm on to the next one. Thanks for catching the video. Be sure to join our channel to get the education you deserve. Make sure you check out our shorts, live streams, and catch us on all the socials. Don't forget to like and subscribe.